I feel like <sighs> these days my mood is so like intrinsically connected to the weather because like when I first woke up this morning it was super sunny and I was like oh shit yeah this is gonna be such a productive day we're gonna get so much done and now the sun has gone behind the clouds and I'm like shall we take a nap? It's 11 in the morning, but like, should we take a nap? I really need to just try and like bust myself out of that and just, excuse you, and just um, not let the weather dictate my productivity because we have a shit ton to get done this morning. But first up is walking them doggies. <laughs> some compost. Uh, well no I don't yet. I have some fruit and vegetable peelings to put in the compost heap. I've actually started heap number two because I'm very very impatient and I want some compost to be ready like ASAP so I want the one on the left to like compost quickly and then I'm gonna put all the new stuff like in on the right if that makes sense. Composting done. If we have a little look at the seed potatoes, I'm accidentally making uh, raisins along with my seed potatoes, apparently. I just forgot about my grapes, to be honest, because I took them out to use the punnet for the composting, and then I put them in the front and just forgot about them. So now I'm making raisins. So there's definitely some little sprouts starting to show. They're like two weeks old at this point, I think. So I don't know, I think it's supposed to take like multiple weeks. So we might be waiting for a little bit of time. But progress is progress. They've got tiny little sprouts. <laughs> Right, food shop done. Because we have quite a small fridge, I probably go shopping maybe like once every two days, three days max. That's not any different than how I would shop when I was living in a house and I had like a big fridge. Because if you shop just a few days in advance for all the food that you need, you basically eliminate any food waste because you know exactly what's in your cupboards, you know exactly what's in your fridge and so there's no way that any food gets wasted, so top tip. <laughs> Heater done, lunch time. <laughs> mm. I'm trying my mulled wine chutney on the toast day today. Fucking 10 out of 10. It's really nice actually. And we have a guest for lunch. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Good luck. See you later. So this only gets like a half an hour lunch break 
and it takes him five minutes to walk to the van and then five minutes to walk back as well so like we get to hang out for like 20 minutes every few days he doesn't come for lunch at the van every day but it's a nice little treat for him to come and like hang out and get a bit of a break and see the dogs and stuff so right lunch for lewis done I think I'm probably going to get some uni work done right about now. I'm a little bit behind, so it would probably be a good idea. <laughs> I think that this desk is still one of like my most favorite things I've ever built for this van. <laughs> it's so sick, right? <laughs> I have some news regarding my current status of unemployed. <laughs> By the way, if you're new to the channel, um, hi, I'm Kirsty. You can call me Kirst. One of my lifelong goals is to become a vet. Um, and I had a interview in a vet's practice the other week. And the job was to be a veterinary receptionist, which would be so sick on my CV, just like alone. But also it's a really small clinic, which means that they don't have very many um, vet nurses there all the time. And when the vet nurses aren't there, they get the reception staff to do a lot of the vet nurse responsibilities. So like holding the animals and like helping with procedures and stuff, which is so fucking exciting. Like that would be my perfect job. Just please, just keep everything crossed for me. Um, I'm supposed to hear either today or tomorrow whether or not I got it. I feel like the interview went quite well. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is I didn't really think about interviews when I packed for moving into the van. So I don't really have any like interview appropriate clothing. Mostly I don't have any interview appropriate shoeing. I wore these to the interview. When I walked in, she did the whole like, Like at my shoes and I'm like oh god oh no this is awful yeah sometimes you just can't like get away from the fact that you do live in a vehicle um but yeah I'm still hopeful anyway I'm still hopeful but yeah I'll let you guys know <laughs> anyway right uni time <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so brain dead. <laughs> Why they have us studying quantum mechanics for a biology degree, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I need a break. All right. Can you put hair in the compost heap? Yup. <laughs> it takes up to two years to degrade, but it's about 15% nitrogen, which is high, apparently. Right, in the compost bin it goes then. That looks really fucking weird. <laughs> what do we think? I think that's cute. It's like roughly the same length at the front. Probably needs a wash to be fair. Hasn't been washed since last week. Ew. <laughs> Honesty hour. It's mostly just because like my hair really starts to piss me off when it gets like too much in the front. Um, because my hair is really thick. So when it's really heavy in the front, I feel like every time I like look down, like it would all be like here and it's like, I can't see. <laughs> so if I just like cut it all into like sort of short side bangs, I do it like probably like every two or three weeks, probably. I like chop all the way out the front and I just think it looks much nicer and it's much more manageable. Fabulous. <laughs>
actually feels a little bit like shopping going into the back and like collecting supplies except for it's all prepaid it's like a free shopping experience much fun <laughs> i have just received an email which immediately is a bad sign um it's about the job the vet re receptionist job shall we read it together Thank you very much for attending your recent interview. We really enjoyed meeting you and appreciate your interest in our company and the role. Unfortunately, after very careful consideration, we regret to inform you that we were not taking your application further. Having interviewed another candidate whose skills and experience we fear more closely matches the requirements. Ugh. They said we'd welcome your application again in the future and would also encourage you to look at other current vacancies in CBS that may be of interest. It's such a bummer. Oh, that's such a bummer. Really wanted it. I thought it would be so exciting to like end the video, like hopefully getting offered a job. It would be like, yay, good vibes all around, you know. Twas not to be. This is a bit of a bummer way to end the video now. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll find something. Something even better, maybe. Alright, well, I'm gonna go cry, so... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I will probably go and eat some chocolate, though. Oh my god, I bet it was the shoes. Sorry, I'm not the camera. Oh my god, I bet it was the shoes. Do we think it was the shoes? Oh well, never mind. Alright, see you next week. Love you. Bye. <laughs>